Hello friends and welcome back to Virtual Happy Hour. It is Tequila Tuesday and I'm very fortunate to be making today's cocktail with a lovely sample of locally made Catadilla tequila. So this is a Reposado and I'm gonna be using it today to make us a little watermelon Paloma. Um, last week, as you know, took the time off to mute myself and amplify melanated voices. I am continuing to do that work uh, both on this channel, on my blog. I wrote a post about it today. You can check that out. And continuing to do the quiet work of learning, reflecting, donating, signing petitions, emailing policymakers, and am committed on an ongoing basis to supporting black owned businesses and restaurants actively seeking them out and promoting them across my channels as well. So today, Watermelon Paloma. Last week I uh, also kicked up my, my Bumble habits and I'm gonna be talking about um, my dating life, which is an abject failure, on Robin J's incredible IGTV series, Cocktails, that's C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S. So we are going to be spilling some serious tea. I'm going to be providing some updates on um, what sort of things are unfolding for me in the digital courtship space. I know many of you just tune in hoping for those kinds of updates. So be sure to check that out. It will be going live on Thursday. I'll also be providing some running commentary on Robin as she attempts to make this drink. So like clearly I'm doing a walkthrough here. It should be hard to fuck up, but I'm not overly confident. We're gonna see what happens, people. There's muddling involved, there's fresh fruit, there's shaking, God only knows what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and get started. I have here chopped up one cup of fresh watermelon. I'm gonna throw it directly into my shaker tin, which is quite full. And then we're gonna muddle it. Robin, this is what muddling looks like. Just letting you know. We want it to get nice and juicy, so I'm gonna be applying more force than I typically would when we're muddling. As you can see, I'm back with the Nigella cleavage. Fuck Giada. Everyone wants more tit in their life, I think, right? Most people? When I was younger, in my teen years, I used to bemoan to my mother how flat-chested I was, and she used to say, more than a handful's a waste. Um, but at the time, I think I pretty much only had a mouthful, so a handful would have been optimistic. But as you can see, it filled out a bit. So, got it from my mama. Thanks, Trudes. Then we're gonna add a, oh, oh, here it is. I thought I didn't have my jigger. Gonna need half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Just a little bit more in here. I was, you know, returning to Bumble with, with high hopes. Well, not too high, because I've done it before, but like, I felt like I was refreshed and I was ready to get back in the game. And I was just met with the same bad behavior that uh, I've seen before. One half ounce, a half ounce, a half ounce, one half ounce of simple syrup in here, in our jigger, adding it to the shaker and then an ounce and a half of Reposado or Blanco tequila. It smells delicious, really excited. Ooh, pouring it all over my hand, putting it to waste. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll lick it off the counter after, but I won't film it. Making a mess. Okay, that's everything we need in there. And then we're gonna rim a highball glass with a little bit of our lime wedge. And then here, in this little ramekin, I have a tablespoon of salt. You can't see it because when I show it to you. Yeah, there we go. A tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. So we want a little spicy rim because this is gonna be really refreshing, but I just wanna kind of add a little bit of complexity with the spiced rim. There we have it. I'm gonna grab some ice for my shaker. Wipe the tequila off my hands. Alrighty, so we're gonna add, didn't want that one. We're gonna add three cubes. 
I worked out for the first time in ages the other day. And by the other day, I mean yesterday. And now I can barely walk or move. So that's not ideal. I'm gonna put the remaining cubes in my Collins glass. And then we're gonna give it a nice sharp shake. These are just really friendly ice cubes today. I wanna get all up in there. Yeah, so lots of the same bad behavior, you know, on Bumble, the women have to start the conversation, which has its pluses and minuses. All right, now we're gonna strain into our Collins glass. Um, I should probably use a second strainer. This will do, this is not my usual cocktail strainer, just like a regular old kitchen strainer. As you can see, this is gonna be time consuming. Anyway, so, you don't wanna come off, you know, too flirty, too sassy, right off the top. You wanna send the wrong impression. I'm making an absolute mess on my counter right now. My standard openers right now are what's your favorite binge-worthy TV show that you've discovered in quarantine and or what's your favorite food that you've ordered during takeout, during quarantine. I need more ice. Beautiful, pretty color we have on this cocktail. And so I asked that the other day to a guy and the total sum of his response was, no, no more will fit. Total sum of his response was Brockmire on Crave. Okay, great. That doesn't really uh, give me much to go off of, sir. Thank you so much for your considered, I'm gonna probably, make another one and just like top this up after, but here we go. I was gonna add this watermelon wedge as garnish. Doesn't really fit. Oh, there we go, that's better. I don't want it to sink all the way. Hmm, well, that's fine. Cheers! Oh my God, that's good. Really nailed it, made a complete mess. You can tell I'm a little rusty, but it is delicious and it goes so nicely with that chili salt rim. Be sure to check out with Robin J's IGTV series, new episode featuring me called I Show Up As Advertised on her IGTV on Thursday. Check it out. And thank you to Katadia for the tequila and I will see you all tomorrow.